Hello, my name is Amjad al Tadmari from Greenfoot team in University of Kent, UK. This tutorial will sum up the using of helper classes in Greenfoot, including label, smooth mover, and map and weather classes. We will see today how we can do a boats game which recognize the water with land and each boat is running according to the weather speed in different city and if one of the boats manage to touch the anchor the label will show up and the scenario will stop. Let's start. First of all I'll open Greenfoot then I'll go to scenarios open then I prepared a scenario called bots. I'll open it. This scenario contains only an empty word class which contains only the constructor. Construct a word class with no image. Then the anchor with the act method is just empty. The bot class is the most important one in this scenario and it contains one constructor which takes the left key, right key. This is to allow me to have two different ports or more if I want in my game with different keys controlling them direction and speed in the act method if the left key is down turn minus 5 if it's right key turn 5 then move according to the direction with the th speed specified now if the port is touching an object of anchor class greenford.stop this will guarantee that the simulation will stop the flip method it's just to change the direction of the boat and to change the image to the other one. You can notice that each boat has two images, the original one and the other is the flipped one. So the French boat, for example, is controlled by A as the left key and D as the right key. The direction is one and the speed is one as well. The image, the original one is boat one, the flipped one is boat one flipped. Now the German one, left and right keys with the direction is the opposite. Minus one means from right to left and the two is the speed. The original image is bow two and the flipped one is bow two flipped. Now if I create an object of French boat and German boat and an anchor and run, you can notice that I can control the, the boat to turn right or left and I also the French boat at the same time, you can control it. And if one of them touch the anchor, the simulation will stop, but no message will appear here. And if I run again, I notice that when they touch the world edge, they will stop. Now let's try to change the classes to make the game that we are aiming for. So first of all, I'm going to use the map class import here. Now I can open the world map and say map let's name the object map as well equal to new map and let's select the location as Lincoln UK which is a city in the Midlands of UK now I have to say as well Greenfoot image create an object called image equals to let's say map dot get image and to set it as a background we have to say set background and pass the image Now, if we compile, you can notice that the background became the Google Map image that we select, but if we created an object of a boat, it will not recognize the land or the water. So what we have to do now is to write a method which called isWater. This method takes a boat as an object and then tests if the position of the boat is blue, so it's water, or not. So you can notice that we have to use Greenfoot image here so we have to take this out. We have to define it in the class level. Greenfoot image image. Now what I'm saying here give me the color at this XY of the board and then return if the blue is more than the red and blue is more than the green so it's a blue color. Now we have to use this function in the boat class to make the boat stops when it's land. So we'll go to the boat class and in the act method we will say if get world cast it to world map dot is water this this object that we are in flip and we know that flip is just to change the direction. Compile now if we create an object of a boat and run 
you will notice that the boat, when it touch the land, will reverse, but not the head of the boat, but the center of it. That's because X and Y represent the center of the actor. For that, we have to change the is water method that we created here by adding to the X the half of the length of the actor. So get direction, then put get image dot get width divide two. Now, if we compile again, create an, an object, you will notice that as soon as it touch the land, it will reverse. Another issue is that when this boat is touching the world edge, it will stop. That's because we don't have a method to ask to flip. So what we are going to do is open again the world map. So we have to add here at world edge method, which takes a pot object as a parameter and decide whether this object is touching the world edge. Now we have to open the pot class and add two lines to saying that if this pot is touching the world edge, flip as well. Let's compile and create an object run. So when the bot is touching either the land or the world edge it will flip. We can make this game more interactive by controlling the bot not by a static speed but by the speed of the wind at a specific city. So what we have to do is to create in the bot class an another constructor which takes a dynamic speed rather than a static one. So we will copy this constructor and to change the last parameter instead of speed integer we will take a country name and a city name. Then we have to create here another field of this class called weather and say this dot weather instead of speed this dot weather equal to new weather and pass the country and the city. This will not compile for sure because we haven't import the weather class yet. So we have to go to edit menu, import class, then import the weather class, import. The weather class needs some libraries. So Greenfoot will give you a message saying Greenfoot has to be restarted for this project to work properly. You have to press OK, otherwise it will not compile. We can go to the French port and instead of passing one which is the speed we have to pass let's say a country name and a city name and let's say France and Paris because it's a French port and for the German port we may pass Germany and Hamburg. Now what we have to do is to assign the speed inside the port class so we have to say if the weather object is not null, this dot speed equal to weather dot get wind speed. And because the wind speed is a double one, we have to cast it to integer. Now, if we compile and create a German port and a French port and wish that there is a wind enough in the, these two cities to run these ports, run, we can notice that almost the French port is faster than the German one. Now if we created another object which is the anchor one and tried that the port will touch it you see that the simulation will stop but nothing will appear here. So what we have to do is to show text when one of the objects is touching the anchor. So we have to open the bot class again and say instead of when it's touching the anchor stop we also want to show message. So we will use the new API which been introduced in Greenfoot 2.4 getWorld.showText then we pass the message which is the winner is the and the class name of the object which is touching the anchor and put it in the middle of the word exactly, so get width divide 2 and let's say the height is 50. Now if we compile and create an anchor again, just to save time when we create an anchor and French port, German port, let's right click and say save the world. That will create a prepare method 
and guarantee that every time we compile it will create them automatically. Now if we compile they will be created here and if we run and try to control let's say one of them to touch the, the anchor you see it's very small tiny text here so what we can do with a more advanced student so instead of using show text we can use the label class which is in the import class dialog in edit menu label import and here we have to add an object of label which takes the message as a string and the fold size will say 40 here and instead of show text we can add it as an object this is for more advanced students and also here pass label and also because it's an object they can control it so they can change the color the size etc even in runtime compile and run and let's say this port now the French port has touched the anchor here so the winner is the French port the last class that I'll talk about today is the smooth mover the movement of the bot as you noticed is not that smooth because the parameter is an integer so we can import the smooth mover here and making the bot instead of extending an actor to extend a smooth mover when compile you notice that the bot became here under the smooth mover and when you run trying to control the bot it became easier and the bot movement is smoother I hope that you found this series about helper classes in Greenfoot useful thank you very much